Hello friends, you're with a lonesome gamer and I'm playing Waste Nights. In the last turn Guy Piercing had a hard time. Instead of grabbing a task here and gain, gaining some additional fame, he had two bad rolls and uh, took some bad radiation damage here. Um, while on the other hand, <clears throat> Michael Payne, the samurai, he managed to get all the benefits from this uh, from this um, space. So he has now this task of mutants and man, and he also managed to gain. I don't know how many points. It's one or two points, two fame points, simply for rolling a successful die roll. Yeah, here, two fame points. So <clears throat> that was uh, that was really a good turn for him. On the other hand, Joffrey Goldrush is also on the way to solve the League Carnage task at Gangrene, which is here. So from now on, I'm not gonna do the preparation step on camera uh, because usually it's not that terribly interesting. Maybe just gonna show some main results. Of course, these guys will now suffer from radiation and biohazard. This one won't because his special ability allows him to ignore these uh, symbols. <coughs> And uh, I'll be back to do the uh, movement step, basically, or the planning movement step. So, back after the preparation phase, and as expected, Guy Piercing took some da bad uh, radiation damage, so he's nearly cold now, and of course, in addition to that, some biohazard uh, damage. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna move here to the pumps simply to heal. And by the way we got a, some cool items up here. Uh, the sweeper was discarded. I rolled, a, I rolled a die for that. But we got the combat armor with three armor. That's awesome. And we got a standard vest with two armor which is also good. But it comes for a bad price. It's a yellow item but you gotta pay uh, the red price for it. Anyway, so I'm simply gonna move in here into that uh, adjacent space there and uh, yeah I don't have to pay any fuel for that but the waste, waster can draw one card. And we got here Hellraisers and the waster actually has hell, hell raiders, and the waster has to play that card. So, I wonder if we should try to get that. During this combat, you must spend one fuel in order to play the change range combat card. So, they can do quite a lot of damage. But I also got a pretty good weapon here, the auto shotgun. So, deadly quick, hmm, yeah, hard to tell. I don't have any good cards, that sucks. So that could be kind of risky. We have three dice with guns. So we need at least two good rounds to kill these guys. They have four dice and they do one additional damage. I only have three life points and only a junk protector. So honestly, I think I cannot take that risk here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to escape 
I need a 7 to do this talk test here. So I've got a talk value of 3. And I made it easily. So, okay, I managed to escape. Now it's this guy up here with a sniper rifle and uh, with his yeah Jew Hugh Jackal and he's also not in a really good shape so well I could move to Gangrin try to heal there maybe I only have two life points which definitely sucks yeah, I could give away a green card to regain my full life points. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna do that. Kinda sucks, but... I gotta do something. So I'm gonna move here. And again, the waste is allowed to draw a, sim a single card. Oasis, huh, and he has to play that card. There is no other way. He has to play that card Now that is obviously fantastic for him Stop immediately you heal three radiation and three health That's just great Because it means Well first of all he wanted to stop anyway, so that, that's not a big deal. Second of all, he doesn't have to pay for healing. Third, he can actually uh, try to do one of these other things here. For example, either trading or, well, kind of gambling here. So that might be a real option now. <clears throat> that was luck. We got Joffrey Goldrush. Well, no, wait a second, that's not true. Michael Payne, the Urban Samurai. He wants to move to the Red Tombs, wants to explore them. That would give him then, uh, that would, then he will, could accomplish the mission. The Red Tombs are really far away, they're down here, and he's up there. So it's uh, quite all right here. Um, he doesn't have any cards that would help him there. So uh, let's see. Well, he could take this route here, which would cost him zero, 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 zero movement points, but we got three skulls here. That's pretty dangerous, obviously. I wonder if there's a better route well, we could move definitely here through the pumps. And then like this, that's... Uh, these would be only two skulls. Question is, do we want to... I mean... You know, we could pay two fuel and then, um, we could get there without, with only having to face a single card. Maybe that's an advantage. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that would be fine. Um, I'm really tempted to do this. I mean, yes, we would lose two fuel, which is kind of painful, but still, I think I prefer that. I have a full tank, so I guess I'm going to do that. So let's see. Well, first I only have to pay one, 
and just if I enter then a space which requires me to pay the second I'll do that so we go with here then through here through this space down there here and then we'll end up here so that means the only card he can draw is the first card here from this single space okay that is a dreadnought and but it's pretty easy to pass that after combat if this enemy has four wounds or less you can take one gear card from any gear discard pile wow but it's only a discard pile still there are some cool gear cards out there on the discard piles hmm oh and if you win this you would gain three um, three fame but this is a ferocious enemy so uh, you have to you have to really kill him I mean you have to really uh, take away these seven life points and he's got two um, two armor he does two additional additional damage he has two armor piercing so that is all very 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 bad and it's extremely unlikely that we would have a chance to win that the problem is we only have a repair value of one but we have the chili suit which would allow us to repeat the escape check so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try to do a escape check here and I need a five to be successful and I have that very good so that card goes away <clears throat> and then we can easily travel and by the way actually it would have been better and could assume that well, it doesn't matter because he escaped but it would have been better to um, hold on to this card until um, this guy would have been somewhere adjacent or onto this space because then he would actually fight with two additional dice because it's well kind of a robot and uh, they are stronger uh, nearby Cerbero Tower okay so we end now up down there very good and finally here our trader and he wants to go to Gangren, which shouldn't be so hard. He just has to move, well, here. He can't move like this, sadly. That would cost him an additional, but, okay, I, I, well, he will simply move like this. Oh, yeah. Pay two, uh, pay one fuel. That's okay, I guess. And then... I mean... He's got some cool cards here and he has five cards so he could... He could also play a card. He's gonna play That's My Hood. And that means that nobody is allowed to play any card on him. Uh, which brings him safe to Gangrene. Okay. And now we come to the exploration phase and uh, we can start here with Guy Piercing who can now uh, um, for a green card fully heal and replenish all his stuff. So he's, he will throw away his ammo which kind of sucks. I mean he's running out of cards now and
that means he's now completely fit again and then we have up there Hugh Jekyll well what can he do ah uh, yeah he was yeah he managed to heal there because of the oasis so he can now gamble and you know it's 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 kind of tempting to do this so i guess he's going to throw away his hat And then he's allowed to roll a die. Oh, he could also trade, actually. That could be even a better idea. I'm not sure what... Hmm. Hard to say. There is a sniper rifle. We already have one. Hmm, it's not that great. Bible is kind of interesting, but it's not... No, it's not available there. It's only available at the pumps. So I'm going to gamble. I'm, I'm going to roll a die. And on a 1 to 4, I lose a life point. 5 to 9, I gain a yellow card. A 10, I would gain a red card. Let's see. Well, that's fine. So I paid. I gave my dandy hat. And in return, I'll gain <laughs> Smokies. Or smokes. Well, that's not so great, but okay. I mean, smokes are considered a red card, a red gear card if owned by a knight. Okay, so next time I'm allowed to trade, I can trade these against some red card, but sadly, I cannot do it right now because I can only do one of these actions here. Michael Payne. So he's now down here at this, uh, well, starting launch for atomic rockets. And he's now allowed to accomplish this task explore Red Tomb. He gets a Dream Resetter and to fame. Okay. And now we come to the to these blue cards here. And these are this is the awesome stuff, you know. And there is the gene resetter right here. And these are the real cool weapons. So uh, you can use that in medium range and does one additional damage, but if you fight against mutants uh you gain in addition two additional damage and um one armor piercing so against mutants this thing is just amazing in addition there is no ammo required so overall i think that's a pretty good weapon um i'm not sure if i'm going to yeah, I might take it. I think I'm going to take it in my hand. Yeah, I think I will. It's a, it's it's pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, I'm going to take it in my hand. And then I will gain two fame and that brings me now clearly in the lead. I'm now at five. Okay. Okay, well, actually, I'm not sure if I really want to use that gene resetter. Simply because when I play the change range of the defend combat card, your opponent's attack checks additionally suffer one uh, less roll. Your... Um, your melee attacks gain uh, armor piercing. So I 
this combination of a spitter and the machidi looks actually pretty interesting because I could use the spitter in medium range. I can use the machidi in short range. That's pretty cool. Ah, damn, I'm not sure what to do here. I mean, this is also great because we start in medium range. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Okay. So, and then I can do an additional action at the red tombs. So I could target any hex. All knights on that hex suffer two radiation and lose two health. Or I could grab a card, a green card. Now that is... Uh, that's uh, not a good thing for some people. Right now they're all kind of happy. I mean, they all healed and so on, but... Hmm. But by the way, before I can do this, I gotta do a repair check because that's written here. And also before I can, I can accomplish this task, I gotta do this repair check. And that's not gonna be so easy. I, I only have one die to do it. So I, maybe I was a little too, um, too confident here. And I was indeed. So, um, wow, that kind of sucks now. That means I will not be able to fulfill this task because that's not really, really painful. Because there were two markers on it and if the third marker is placed on it, which will happen at the beginning of the next turn, I will lose the task. Now the gene resetter goes away again, and uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty bad luck here. In addition, I cannot do anything else there because I didn't manage to do this repair action here. That means uh, no exploration allowed on the red tomb. And I will suffer two radiation at the beginning of the next turn. So that was again a pretty bad turn for the ninja here. Okay, Joffrey Goldrush, he can explore Gangrian without any problems because there is no special test required. So he now can discard Leak Carnage, explore Gangrian, you accomplish this task. That gives him two fame and two green cards. So uh, that's actually a pretty good, uh, a pretty good card. So now he's together with the others in the same position. Two green cards. That is a medi shot, which is always great. And a six shooter. Six shooter twos deals two damage for each ten rolled. That's not bad. The problem is it only works in close combat. I think his Kalash is better. Um, now we're gonna place the six shooter in the strider. Okay. So we're in Gangrin and we could now trade. And I actually might do that. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want. Okay, I'm not gonna trade. Um, I don't have any yellow cards, especially uh, except for the chili suit, which I want to keep. And.
And so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to discard the six shooter again. And I'm going to also try to gamble here. On a one of four, I lose a life. Otherwise, I'm going to make some profit. Oh, shit. Okay, that was bad luck. But it's not that terrible. I had full life points. I can heal at the beginning of the next turn anyway. I got my medi shots, so who cares? I'm just fine. Okay, so uh, that's then the end of the exploration phase here. And uh, the rest step is something I'm also going to do uh, off camera. Okay, so we're back after the preparation phase of the fifth round now. And what happened is that uh, the well, during the last exploration phase, Joffrey Goldrush has actually um, accomplished a task and Uh, therefore, I should have replenished this task, and we ended up with this robo-killer task now. Parts, parts, and even more parts. Get me some Cerbero toys, and it will not only help OWO cause, but also earn a little something for yourself. This thing can easily punch through a dreadnought. Okay, so go to Queen's Valley, which is... Well, is that? I think it's here, but I'm not positive. Yes, it is there. And you got to do a blades or guns test, and then you get the card, and then you got to defeat a robot from an wasteland card. And you would gain the executor gear card, which is a pretty strong item, and three points if you can do this. Problem is there is already now a marker on it from the beginning of this round. And then at the beginning of the round uh, two tasks expired. So now we have here a common task, the tactical retreat. Any idiot can get eaten by a rabid dingo or die of thirst somewhere in the desert. Show me that you're not one of those fools looking for trouble all their life and I will reward your coward. I mean your common sense. This task will be accomplished by the first knight to successfully escape two wasteland cards. Knights place their player markers on this card whenever they pass an escape check. That would give them the turbo injector and a uh, to fame. So that's also a good card. And finally we have here money, money, money. Steel traders have already lost three uh, caravans on this route. Unless someone quickly fulfills their contracts, they will lose face and a heap of expensive gear. They're looking for reliable and risk-addicted mercs. Explore Cerbera pharmacies with a, with a tough talk test. Cerbero Pharmacies is actually down there. Explore Queen's Valley, which is up here. And then you gain two fame and two yellow cards. Okay. So, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna start our planning. And this guy is the first player, and I think he's, well, he might have managed to gain one, yeah, I think he did one successful task until now, so it's really time for him to, uh, yeah, to, to get started and, 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 and improve a little bit. Now, I wonder where he might go. I think doing this robo-killer thing is pretty risky. 
Thank you. He prefers to go for money, money, money. How good is he in talking? Well, bad. It's only a one in talking. So that sucks. So he can't do it. Shit. So he might actually go for the Robo Killer anyway. Queen's Valley. Okay, why not? It's up there. And um, what's the easiest way to get there? Well, straight through, I would guess. So that's four fuel. Uh, he's got to pay or four movement points, so he's got to pay one fuel. And he's allowed to enter this hex first, and the waster can draw two cards here. We got this cattle drive. And he's really bad in talking, so that might be an interesting option right away. Stop immediately. You lose one fuel and skip the exploration step this round. The other one would be that one, a survival check of seven. I'm pretty sure he's good in survival checks. Yeah, he's got a four there as a tracker. So the tornado isn't that interesting. Um, now I could actually let him move on, but I think I don't want to do that. I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to let him do this. And if he fails, Yeah, if he fails the escape test, he then must face this one. So it might be a good idea to do something with a hard escape test because of this tactical retreat card. Okay, so I'm going to play that card right away. And he only has one die. And there's basically nothing he can do to improve his odds, so he simply rolls that die and he needs a nine which he hasn't so that means he stops immediately loses one canister and he skips the exploration step pretty bad okay So, I want to point out now that this is not an enemy card. If there were, this would have been an enemy card with some combat stats here. Then, when you fail a test, you lose uh, health, but you can move on. If it's an event card like this, where there are no combat stats, there if you fail the test, you don't lose health but you have to face the event. And that's what happened here. So that's an important difference between these two card types. Okay, so the ninja with his bad radiation damage, he wants to heal this. He goes to New Sydney and uh, if he discards a card there, a green card, he can uh, refill all his health, radiation uh, problems, and also his fuel. So I think that's uh, definitely worth it. So he's got to pay one fuel to get there. And then he can move here through the desert. So that means now that. <clears throat> The waster can draw a single card. And that's a wounded stranger. A stranger, Stop immediately. You lose one fuel and skip the exploration step this round. Now that's interesting because, you know, I mean, basically we have to play that card because it's the only card we will draw. And that might actually help the uh, samurai here but I'm not sure. So I gotta make another decision. 
if I th you know what I think I'm gonna help this guy I want I want to help the stranger so I give away my fuel but in return I would gain one fame and a green card and I think that's worth it so yeah I'm gonna discard this and I'm also pretty bad in medicine so the chance that I will uh, have a success during this uh, escape check is not that good okay so I gotta give away a fuel I only have one left but that will be easily enough to move into New Sydney I can go there by foot and in addition I gain now a one fame that's not too bad and a green card of course let's see what that is that's a chain your opponents attack checks suffer minus one your opponents close combat attack checks interesting that's an interesting card because I could use now the chain in combination with the Mahidi. But I think it's not possible to use both weapons. You have to make a decision which weapon you want to use. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I could not use the Mahidi and the chain I had to decide. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Mahidi and the spitter so that is a little more flexible I think okay now let's see what the trader wants to do okay so I think there can be no doubt he's pretty bad in fighting which is fine for him but he's good in talking so he will move to server of pharmacies and do these money 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 thing uh, several pharmacies it's down here what's the easiest way to get there probably like this two three yeah sounds reasonable so I gotta give away one fuel and then I can move. So that's my first space and the waster can draw the first card there. That's an alien regular. This enemy is treated as if he had the same weapons and special abilities as you if usable in combat. A Kalash. Wow, that sucks. Now that's really a tough guy. Um, and you know what? I want to avoid this guy. This is this is just too bad for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this check, and it's a it's a tough check. Obviously, you got to do a repair check nine here. And I'm not absolutely sure. I mean, I have I have a repair value of three. I have the chili suit, which would allow me to reroll the die, and I have uh, I have focus man, which would allow me to reroll the die again. I could also simply play a piece of cake and the check is passed. Hmm. Well. Wow. Hard to tell. You know, I think I'm going to hold on to piece of cake for a non 
escape check when I cannot use my chili suit. And, uh, oh, by the way, we don't have to play that card right now. We could also wait. Here another card will be drawn. But I think the waster will play this card. Um, question is, will he play it right now? Or will he play it in the desert? Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to play it... I think it doesn't really matter, but I think I'm going to play it right now, yeah. Okay. So, well, I think I'm going to take that test. So, I need a 9 or a 10 with 3 dice. And I got that without re-rolling. Very, very good. I kind of like the trader. I got a feeling like this guy might be, well kind of an underdog, you know, and without big fights and big weaponry, although the Kalish is a good one, he might somehow maybe make it to the top. I got a good feeling about this guy. So that means he can now use one of his personal markers and he can place that here on that tactical retreat card. And it's now also interesting because the waster, hmm, I don't know, it's tough to say. Okay, so uh, that means he can now move here, and that's the end of his movement step. So, final player is Guy Piercing. He could go for the Robo Killer. It's possibly the best he can do. His problem is that this there is already a marker on that card. So he will only have one single turn to find a robot and to do an attack. And that mm, you know that kind of sucks. I mean, it's going to be really really hard and he's going to need a lot of luck to do this. So I'm not sure if it's really what I want. I mean... Shit. And in addition, you know, I mean... I don't know that this guy has these two piece of cake cards. So I could actually say, hey, I got a focus man card, which is pretty good. And if I'm lucky, this guy is not able to roll this pretty hard talk test 9 here and maybe I can do it if I'm on this thing. So I think my chances are better to do this test than to find uh, a robot into, uh, in, in a single turn basically. Uh, okay now let's see I can simply move two, three, four spaces. That will cost me four movement points. So I'm going to pay one fuel. Hmm. Yeah, okay, and then I'm simply going to move this way, so it's two. And that means that the other guy is allowed to draw a waste a, car, uh, a card, and, well, here we have a robot. But that is a terrible guy, Cerbero C3D2. <laughs> okay, what about repairing? We're good in repairing. So, uh, you know... With this two armor, it's going to be damn hard to kill this guy. And I think I'm going to I'm going to try to do an evade check here. Maybe I'm lucky and I can do also the tactical retreat uh, retreat thing. Repair three dice. 
what we need is a 7, shouldn't be such a big deal. And we have it here. That's a 9. Okay, so that means we can take the yellow marker and also place it on that card. Still, I'm afraid that in the end the trader would be, will be the lucky one who will do this card and in addition the money, money, money card. He's going to make a lot of points in the next turn, so I'm afraid. Okay, and then we are going to move on. And again, it might have been a mistake, maybe, by the way, so to play this card right away. Because it's an easy escape check. Yeah, maybe I should not have paid, played that card. Okay, I mean, now I did this check again already. I'm, I'm tending to forget that. If I draw a card, I often play it right away. But here, you know, maybe I should say, okay, um, hmm. ah, I did the check. So, forget about it. I gotta focus a little more there. Okay, so we made it here. And now we come to the exploration phase. So this guy is uh, not allowed to do an exploration phase because of all the cattle around him. What about here? Uh, yeah, he also cannot do one because he helps the stranger. But he is allowed to do one. And he's now going to play the piece of cake before any skill check. The skill check is automatically passed. Which sucks, of course, now for the judge. That now gives... Although I'm not absolutely sure. Do I have to pass a... Yeah, it's Cerebral Pharmaceutics. I have to pass a Medicine Test 7 here. Now it's interesting. Do I want to risk... Yeah, I got a Focus Man card. So before I... Do this, I will actually try to do a medicine test. I'm gonna roll three dice. I need a seven, which I don't have. I'm gonna play Focus Man, which allows me to re-roll these dice. And now I better do it because now I cannot play piece of cake. I gotta do this before the die roll. But I was successful here. So now I'm gonna play this one money 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 and I'm gonna play the piece of cake and I get the card okay in addition I can also do I could heal I could take any one medicine card from the stalls well there is none I could draw a green card, and that's what I'm going to do. Razor wire club. Nowadays, people prefer more brutal pastimes than baseball. Pastimes than baseball. Well, that's a good card, no doubt, but it's not that amazing. I'm happy with my Kalash, so I'm going to place it here, and maybe I can trade later. Okay, um... So now it's him, Guy Piercing, and again he was not the lucky one. So he's going to try to enter the several pharmaceutics. He's going to do a medicine check here, he needs a 7. And he made that. At least he can now do an exploration action. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, I think he needs some cards so that he can trade or something. Yeah, so he's gonna draw a a green card too. Now that is a good one. That is a medishot. I kind of like these. They can be very useful. Cool, okay. 
So we're now at the end of turn 5 and I'm going to load this up. Actually not too much happened. I think in, in both turns we haven't seen any combat. Some people had to heal, had to regenerate in general. In, in general. So, um, well, but then again, I already said that Joffrey Goldrush, he seems really doing well. If he manages to get this, to accomplish this money, money, money task, um, he, will, he will do, he will gain two fame. And there is also a good chance for him to do the tactical retreat um, task simply because he, the ninja, is the next first player, which would give him an option to do a retreat, but he then only has one marker lying there and then the next player would be the trader and he's got the piece of cake so it's more or less a sure thing that he can um, that he will take these points too which is not bad that would bring him then to seven points we'll see about that okay Hope to see you in the next video or on lonesomegamer.com. Bye.